Hey guys, it's Mega Spyro on the Mega Trigger Happy channel, and today we're going to be doing a Let's Play on Scavenger Spyro's Venture, or I should say we should be continuing our Let's Play on Spyro's Venture, because this is now part two. So we're going to do chapter two. I'm going to use. Um, what Scavenger should I use? I'm going to use Spyro. Okay, so gotta go talk to Flynn. Ow! Yeah, I'm sure Callie will be thrilled to meet me. An open blamer, huh? So, uh, you ready to shove off, you big sky? What's it? Yes, we are ready. Yep, I'll have this Callie eaten out of the palm of my hand in no time. An open blamer. I mean, look at me. Boom! You see how I was able to hit that? That takes years of practice and skill. I know, amazing, right? Well, you can thank me later. What is that supposed to do anyway? Like, hitting your balloon on a pillar? Like, is that supposed to make you faster? Or what? Like, what is that supposed to do? I don't, I don't even understand how it's amazing. Okay, anyway, we're in chapter two now. So hey, I think we should find this Callie as soon as possible. It's just not fair to deny the girl the pleasure of meeting me. I'll scout from overhead. Meanwhile, you see if you can find her on the ground. Okay, so we gotta go find Callie. Different areas of Skylands have different elemental energies. When you switch to using Skylanders of the same element in that area, they will have extra power and reap extra rewards. Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this zone. Okay, in that case, let's switch to Trigger Happy. And yes, this is the same Trigger Happy from Skylanders TV, if you're all wondering. This is the same one. And I'm going to say this again, I'm only using Spire's Venture characters, I'm not going to use Series 2's, Series 4's, or anything that's from another game, just using characters from Spire's Venture, and we also just unlock this tech gate. Chompy Pod. And the Joe Spearman. And there's some money back here. Although, I don't know why I need any money, because I'm already maxed out. We're falling! Yeah, normally if I were to do enemy goal for this level, I would usually miss, like, a chompy pod, like, right around here and a chest. If you were to do enemy goal, you have to go in this tech gate. Yeah, you would have to go in here. Enemy goal is not easy. Like, I don't know, sometimes it is. I mean, it's this is actually the hardest game to do enemy goal. And Giant, Swap Force, Trap Team, and all the other games, it's easier. But in Spire's Adventure, it's pretty challenging. And no, I'm not going to put that hat on. And Soul Gem down here, it's Stump Smash. And I'll show you guys Stump Smash's preview right now. I 
kind of want to use Stump Smash now. I'm going to go switch to him. Okay, I got Stump Smash. Here he is. Like, have you noticed that when he hit the sheep, like... Like, when Stump Smash hits it, it gets squished. And, like... Uh, like, there's lots of, like... Like, the sheep could be, like, hurt in so many different ways. Like... Like, Spyro can burn it. Stump Smash can squish it. I don't know, you know what I mean. Like, just different hurt animations. Like, for each character. Like, you know what I mean? Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. So there's, like different hurt animations for the sheep. So like see I was able to squish the sheep because I was using some smash. If I were to use like Spyro using fireball the sheep would actually burn. No, it's just something to think about. That each like character like uses a different like thing for the sheep. I don't know. Have you guys ever noticed that? Jeez. And I also saw the sheep like uh, if you were like using lightning rod, I think you could like puff up its wool. Sheep are among the most feared creatures in Skylands. Those Mabu having fallen asleep while counting large herds of sheep often discover their belongings missing when they wake up. When questioned, of course, the sheep never admit to having taken anything. And let's unlock this gate. Man, look at that whirlpool down there. It's beautiful. And these graphics were always so amazing to me. Now, I would tell you all, like, my first time playing this, but, like, I'll... Would you guys... And, like, on Mega Gilgrunt, would you guys want me to do a video where I would, like, share my history about Skylanders, like, how I started and everything? Just, just an idea. Oh, and by the way, if you use a life Skylander, you unlock this bridge. And we're not going to go there right now. Actually, no, let's just get the legendary treasure. The life element are stronger in this zone. And you could go here just to get the legendary treasure. Oh, wait, we can't go back up. Well, at least we got the legendary treasure. Have your Skylander climb inside the cannon. Then use it to shoot the locks. I mean, like... I thought I thought I was able to go back up. Anyway, let's go in this turret or whatever it's called. I think it's called a turret. And we just saved Callie. You're a Skylander, aren't you? This is unbelievable! I was just rescued by a real Skylander. Ahem, <clears throat> and, uh, me? I helped. Flynn the Balloonist here. That's me at your service. Charming. Yes, yes, I know. <sighs> Must be pretty overwhelming. Look at Stump Smash's face. Me best pilot in all of Skylands. You know, he's like amazed on like with the balloon. Right where I wanted them. Sure you did. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> well, yes ma'am. You are welcome. Hmm, not bad. We did pretty good. You vile 
wild beasts! <laughs> Honestly, Hugo, they're just sheep. Yeah, they're just sheep. Like, I don't get why sheep are so bad. Where you are wrong, my dear Callie. These creatures may appear to be friendly, cuddly piles of fluff. Oh, my iPad just back on wrong. Them and they turn into <laughs> wretched lint balls with beady little eyes staring Did at you guys hear that move. at all? Sorry about the lint Got balls, Hugo, no but we were able that, That's why I hear all the time. I hear tinny -ting. Actually, it was the Skylander who rescued... Oh! <laughs> oh, Kelly! <laughs> Stop with the praise. It's embarrassing. Entirely appropriate. But embarrassing! Hey, could we please get on to the important things? While you were all away, I found the old blueprints for the Core of Light. The ancients used them when they first built it. Wait a second, I thought you said you built the Core of Light. Well, yes and no. Yes, I said that I did, but no, I really didn't. The old so basically core was just used no. to repel the forces of darkness. If we can rebuild a new core of light, it should stop Chaos from his wicked plan. Wait, if he didn't build the core of light before, then who did? Focus on getting rid Eon? of those villainous sheep. The far viewer I will help us find the parts we need to rebuild. I, the core. I never thought of that. This cursed, overgrown bramble is blocking it off. I think Eon might have built the core of light. Clearing the bramble Makes sense. could give us a clue to the whereabouts. I don't know of the who built the core of light before. Or was it just already built? Anyway, now we gotta clear the bramble. It's actually like a lot easier if you're using Spyro or something. Then it actually would be a lot easier to clear the bramble. They come back. It. And wow, not only will that far viewer help us see distant lands, but it also functions as a sheep launching device. It's marvelous. Here, I'll show you how to use this thing. It's pretty much a telescope, but a lot more magical. This one's a little rusty, but it should be able to show us exactly where we need to go next. That's the magic part. Yes, I see it right now. The very first eternal source we need. Air! The core of light was powered by all the eternal sources. If we can acquire that air source, we will be well on our way to rebuilding it. It's the stormy stronghold. The evil Dro must have recovered the eternal air source, but something has gone wrong. The whole place is being blown apart. My balloon's gonna need something. Something that will push me through the storm. Like a propeller genius? No, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> oh, you are so cute when you're flirting with me. Oh, I've got it. We need some kind of a propeller. Really? Really? Fine. Everyone knows the Dro patrol the Sky Schooner docks. Their elite airship will have the propeller we need. Tell you what, Brain Trust. You get back to your balloon. I'll mark it on the map with a big crayon. Hey! I like crayons! This is a very important mission. Go find Flynn when you're ready to depart. Say, listen, if you're looking for adventure, I'm your girl. But adventure takes a lot of preparation. If you or any of your Skylander friends need some training before heading out, I might have some challenges that will do the trick. Come and see me. Now, one thing I noticed about the cutscenes in... I mean, I'm talking about the in-game cutscenes in the Xbox version. Like, it takes longer for the characters to interact with each other. Like, Callie said something and it took, like, like almost a whole minute for Flynn to respond. I think the cutscenes are better in the Wii version because it's animated better and the characters respond faster, but it's not like that in the Xbox and PlayStation version. I mean, yeah, the graphics are better, but animation is a little incomplete sometimes, you know? Like, I, like I said before, the Xbox version and Wii version are very different, and I could tell you because I, 
played through both versions of the game. And they're both good. You can't go wrong with either version, they're both good. Like, if you were to play, like, if you were to start playing Skylander Spiral's Adventure, I would recommend either version. Either version's good. I, I like both versions. Oh, the Xbox version has better quality. But the Wii version... Like, my opinion, the Xbox version's a little better, but the, the Wii version just brings back more memories. Because, like, that's what I played when I started. So again, like, would you guys want me to do a video on my history of Skylanders, like how I started and everything? Like, I could do that on the Mega Gill Grunt channel, like, would you want me to do that? If so, then post your, like, opinions in the comments section below, and I'll probably do it. So yeah, that's it for this video, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and new videos coming soon.